Hey guys, uh, just recording this Oxen Labs update from home today. Um, Josh will be in the office for the second part of this, I assume. Um, we have been working on session. Basically, we have continued our work on message requests. Uh, we have found a, a couple of last minute bugs which stopped us from releasing last week, but I'm really hoping that we'll be able to release very soon. Um, we're just making sure that there's no essential functionality that's been affected um, with message requests and there was a few issues with closed groups that we were having um, that we wanted to fix before the message request release went out. Uh, we are also working on session ID blinding alongside of that and calls are looking really good now as well, um, basically being almost finished up on most platforms. So those, those will go through QA as well, um, hoping for a release quite soon too. Um, that kind of covers the session clients. Uh, on the session open group server though, we've been working on uh, the session v4 endpoints, which are basically uh, a new set of endpoints which provide some additional administrative capacity, um, the ability to batch up requests together. Um, there's a few things in there and we're implementing those as part of session ID blinding as well. But some server-side work has happened as well to add some endpoints that were not in the v4 endpoints that were in the um, previous version of endpoints, so stuff like being able to delete um, deleting all messages from a user, that's something that we have in the existing endpoints that we've added back this week to the um, v4 endpoints. So they, they should all be, um, the exact functionality should be in all of the endpoints now, so um, we should be moving forward with the v4 endpoints in the ID blinding um, release, which will come later down the road. Uh, so yeah, that kind of wraps the session stuff. Um, on LokiNet, we haven't been doing, um, most of the resources on LokiNet this week have been assigned to either SOGS or, um, well, basically on the, on the session open group server, so we haven't um, made too much progress there, but we ha are having um, a developer look at the Windows issues right now because we weren't able to reproduce or we weren't able to find an environment where we could reproduce um, the IPv6 leak, so We've gotten some, um, we've got a Windows developer called Rick to come in and help us um, try and find where that is and, and make sure that our fix is actually working. Um, on the core side, we've basically been doing uh, Wallet 3 stuff, um, especially using real transaction data in um, Wallet 3 and testing that out, so that process is still ongoing. Um, yeah, that just about wraps me up for the dev portion of this. I'll throw it over to Josh for the next section. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, this week we have a non-COVID bug making its way through the office. So I'm here giving you my update from my webcam. Hope that's okay. It's going to have to be. So firstly, this week we had a bunch of the team hit up a local Web3 meetup, actually. Um, it actually had Zuko zooming in live at the meetup. And he gave Session a nice little shout out, which was really awesome to hear him liking the app. And the meetup also, like the, peop the people there, sent through their questions to Zuko through session as well as their Zcash addresses. So that was, that was just really cool, really cool to see, um, keeping it local here in Melbourne. Uh, also, session growth is still going strong, uh, especially on the Twitter, now at 25,000 followers. So huge props to Cam right there. Actually, the session Twitter has been getting a lot of positive feedback lately. Um, and that means collaboration wise, a lot of doors have been opening up for us. Speaking of which, Key has a podcast appearance coming up really, really soon that you guys should sure to be look out for. I can't really say anything more about it at this stage though, but it's going to be exciting. Um, we've also been getting a lot of people emailing us asking how they can support session. Obviously, running service nodes are like a big one there, but we've also been working on this one pager that's going to be easily shareable and basically just lists out all the ways people can support session. So that should be done soon and then we'll be able to put it out and people will be able to share that around. Um, we're still continuing to prep the release of message requests, which should be coming like really, really, really soon. And the new studio room still being set up for more video content. Um, speaking of which, actually, the anonymous session stories have already started to drop. If you haven't checked them out already, you can see them on our Twitter or on our YouTube, and there's just going to be there's going to be more coming out. 
Um, also on the foundation side of things this week, the articles from that call out that we've been doing have arrived in our inboxes. So Alex has just been going through them like a madman, editing them up. So we should be seeing the first of those articles published pretty soon. Um, that's pretty much all from me this week. I'll see you guys next time.